following is a presentation of TFNN. The P Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, David White. And welcome all to another exciting edition of the Power Trading Hour with me, humble, lovable, and squeezably soft host. As always, we love to come to you at this time. The following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. And what do we have going on today? Well, we're down. Can't believe it. Down 10 whole points on the S&P cash. Um, we concluded a trade uh, today, a little earlier. Uh, we'll talk about that. Uh, one of the best looking uh, charts, at least for an option position. We'll talk how we set that up. Um, what else do we have? Eh, it's uh, certainly... Um, not a huge day in the way of volume so far, about 3.7 billion shares. But we don't have much in the way of energy up or the energy on the way down. Options till, uh, still say that everybody's very worried about a surprise in the market to the downside. Um, and we'll talk about how some of these other things work. Um, let's see if there's anything else I really wanted to bring up. Uh, as we move along, of course, first day of earnings um, season really kind of out. Uh, we had uh, JP Morgan out. It's up less than a percent. J&J, J&J, it's off two bucks. Uh, and uh, what was it? Uh, JPM. JP Morgan also up. On buck, just not much for all the action, and uh, theoretically blowing out the uh, the uh, earnings number, but not the whisper numbers. So we have uh, a lot of people, uh, like I said, uh, way over the out on the tips of their skis. Were earnings bad? The answer is no. The question is, are they going to get any better next quarter? If they're not, then you're probably thinking about selling. And even though they were good, uh, not really anybody talking these up uh, except street folk who I assume are trying to sell into this. Uh, I just don't see a lot going on, at least from these earnings. Now, of course, uh, after the bell tonight, uh, we have more earnings. And, uh, of course, uh, those, uh, what's today? Yeah, the 16th. Um, after the bell tonight, we look at CSX. And United Continental and CentOS. So we got a little bit of a shake of what's going on in uh, the rest of the world. Uh, transportation with CSX and uh, United Airlines and how many people are buying new uniforms with CentOS. So we'll get a little taste of that tomorrow morning. Uh, we look at uh, Bank of America, Abbott Labs, uh, Comerica after the bell tomorrow night. We've got Netflix, IBM and eBay, United Rentals, Alcoa, um, yeah, pretty much that. I don't think that there's much on Friday, Thursday, United Health and Morgan Stanley, SAP. That's kind of the biggies on Thursday morning. Friday, or excuse me, Thursday night, we've got uh, Microsoft Intuitive Surgical, Skechers, Capital One, uh, Ozarks. Uh, very tough to see that Microsoft blows out anything more than we expected, but that's it. Anyway, we're down 10 points on the S&P cash, down 10 on the Dow. NASDAQ's off 35, Russell's up two, but uh, you know, after getting kind of smoked yesterday. Uh, you can give me a call at 877-927-6648. You can email me at path at tfnn.com, and of course, you can always put a message in the den if you're there. Uh, what else is going on? Let's talk about a little bit of history, and then we'll move on. Got a lot of charts to look at, so we'll uh, think about how history rhymes, sometimes repeats. And it's all just a little bit of history repeating. History, it does man, more than uh, anything else repeats. Oh, I've got the wrong date on this one. I don't know. Oh, that one came up there. Uh, ta -ta. 
19. 45, let's get that correct. Uh, at uh, 529 and 45 seconds, uh, the Manhattan Project comes to an explosive end as the first atomic bomb is successfully tested in Alagomarda. Uh, can I say it? Allo? Trinity. That was what it's called. Trinity in New York, uh, in uh, New Mexico. Um, was uh, The name was uh, signed by Robert Ama, uh, Oppenheimer, director of the Las Los Alamos Laboratory, inspired by the poetry of John Dunn. And of course, uh, this one was an implosion device, uh, and the uh, one that was dropped, uh, kind of the twin of this one, dropped over Nagasaki uh, a little while later. Um, the, uh, they, they were unsure whether this bomb would work. They were really sure that the one that they dropped on Hiroshima would work because it was so stupidly simple. This one far more complex, uh, but uh, could use plutonium instead of just the straight uranium used in the one on Hiroshima. Uh, anyway, this was the first one that went off. Once it went off, they knew that if this one went off, that certainly the other one would go bang, and they moved on. Of course, uh, visible from uh, Las Vegas, many other areas around it, and uh, really didn't know what they were dealing with at the time. I had to end up uh, buying a bunch of uh, animals uh, downwind that uh, ended up drinking water and everything else, finally figuring out just uh, what was what with radiation. Uh, but on this day in 1945, yeah, we blew up a bomb. We also took off to land on yet another body, the first one, of course, uh, leading into the big 50th anniversary of a man walking on the moon, which happens on Saturday. Um, question about option expiry. Could be quiet into that. I don't think so. I think we've got a lot of action, and it's probably already started today. Uh, we will show you probably one of the most interesting charts uh, that we've seen in a, uh, a very volatile sector. Uh, do I? No, nah, I don't have enough time. Well, maybe I do. Um, let's see if I can pull it up. Um, we pulled the trigger yet again on a uh, highly leveraged short product today. Uh, but uh, that one had probably the best Gartley pattern I've yet to see uh, in the VIX. Uh, and it's changed a little bit today. Uh, did, did, did I get it? Maybe it was a little bit different. Uh, maybe it was this. I knew I should have dragged it up here before we get. Anyway, um, uh, where's that at? Uh, do I have time? Maybe just enough to get it up and show you. Uh, where'd it go? There it is. V-I-X-X. -X. And, uh, I'll show you here. Um, oh, now it ran away. Come on. Where is it at? Now, I'll bring it up. There it is. Uh, we'll zoom in a little bit on this, but uh, probably the best looking Gartley pattern, uh, actual bullish butterfly, in the VIIX. Back to the If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, TAS understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the TAS Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today.
If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. As I said uh, earlier, we had probably one of the best looking uh, bullish butterflies in the VIIX, which is credit Swiss uh, volatility uh, index uh, chart. Um, but not only that, as uh, people that have listened to a while, uh, they know uh, just uh, the work I do for options. Uh, but uh, extensively, uh, they are continue, at least the uh, option market makers, continue to uh, set up for a uh, big potential move down. Um, so anyway, there's that chart in the VIIX. I don't pay a lot of attention to the volume, but I do attention to the pattern on that one. Um, let's go ahead and get rid of that and get my charts back up. There we go. Um, and get rid of that and reset that. Um, we did look and take a shot uh, a couple of days ago on the uh, worst looking uh, options chart, and that was with Western Digital. Uh, I think I put the order out around 115 or 130 uh, to buy the 55s uh, on uh, Western Digital. So I, I think, you know, probably I think I was an average of 115 dollar and 15 cents. Uh, they're trading at about 375 right now. I wanted to start selling as soon as Western Digital started going through uh, $52. It's now trading around 5108. And again, eh, the probably the reason I took the money quicker on this one uh, is this is the the only one that I actually bought with expiration this week. Everything else I've got into August. Uh, but this one was set up almost perfectly. Uh, in that um, they were running the shorts out of this one and the short interest on this thing was going down significantly day by day. day. And now when you looked at the chart, probably not much there, but I was watching the uh, options guys uh, for about two days and it was really starting to look rather inky uh, on that. And so we looked at it and uh, let's do this. Uh, WDC. Uh, okay. There we go. 
Uh, this one had one of the worst looking options uh, curves of the entire market. Uh, and I thought that the chances of it closing above uh, $55 were about 5%. It was going down. I'm not exactly, I don't think it's going, to, although this says to 46, my guess is that we're going to see a whole lot of movement in the options by tomorrow when I add these up. But at worst, maybe 50 bucks. It may even bounce back up to 52.50 by expiration day. Uh, but this one was probably one of the singly worst looking markets. And uh, as I was watching the, uh, the uh, daily uh, shorting of this one, no one wanted to be short. And that's uh, uh, generally when you go from something like 30 and 20% of the uh, shares traded each day, as we did four or five days ago, uh, drop to, uh, you know, 12% or 5% or something, uh, it'll go up. And that's generally the, the part where you have to watch it. Anyway, I really loved the action in her day when I was watching what options market makers made. Uh, put that together with uh, my work on options markets. And uh, could this even go lower? The answer is yes. Uh, but, you know, if you can get a buck 15, and then more than, well, right now they're 374. Now, if you can get that kind of range, um, you take your money and you run, uh, especially when you're counting off for the clock. Uh, longer term, I'm pretty happy with my other short positions. Uh, some of them are puts or calls, uh, but I think that we have uh, probably rung the bell and have the ability to see a high in for probably the rest of the summer. Um, you know, could we get really good earnings news and change that? We could, uh, but certainly the best traders on Wall Street right now, which are the option market makers, are very much worried about lower prices. If we look at what the uh, spies are telling us, um, same thing. They are really looking um, da -da 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 they are really looking for um, a very uh, tempered range, uh, and that is they have very little uh, risk to the upside and very little risk to the downside. Um, we started off at about uh, 250 on the spiders last week. That's moved up to about 275, uh, but they still suspect that there could be a fairly uh, a huge move of up to 100 points uh, to the downside between now and expiration. They, they just don't want any risk. So uh, it continues to tell me that option market makers are really thinking that someone could really miss and we could see in a very brittle market with very light volume and all the other things that have added up to it. Um, if this was a giant V, it would say that uh, down to 275, that would say that they know it. What this says is that they f really fear it, but they do not know yet. So as far as I'm concerned, the at least the next few days, uh, the door is open for a, a massive miss. I could see something like Microsoft come down 10 bucks and just absolutely lay waste uh, to the tune of 100 points in the S&P cash uh, if they just went back 10 bu uh, bucks. And that wouldn't be anything other than maybe a little selling in, oversold, or in an overbought market. Uh, and so not thinking that's it. Anyway, uh, pretty much loaded up on the side of options and thinking that uh, I'm going to sit on my hands at least through Friday. And like I said, all the options I have now are into August. So we'll take a look and see how we have that there. You can give me a call at 877-927-668. And uh, what else? Oh, you can email me at path at tfnn.com. Okay, what else do we have? I'm trying to check all this out. Uh, do, 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 okay. Um, do, 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 do. Oh, wanted to go through a lot of other charts. Okay. See all my emails and everything here. Um, Best Buy, we talked about this one having uh, about the same volume going into the previous high, but certainly not the kind of energy you wanted to see off this June 6th low. 
Uh, also, this period into uh, pretty much into the 1st of October tends to be a fairly weak uh, segment of uh, retail consumer electronics. Uh, Apple uh, finally back up to this gap down uh, that goes back to uh, May 7th that had 30, what's called 39 million shares today we're pushing up into it with 11 million shares yesterday you had 17 million uh, but that's about it well you had about eh, that's about it you had about half that volume into the best day over the last uh, month or so trying to get back up into that huge gap down that took us back to 170 27 we'll be back after this Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. Hi folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. And we're back. Um, Microsoft, a question uh, from Ron, who asks, uh, why do I think Microsoft has a little downside and it's just with the way that these uh, the option market makers are pushing this uh, they think at a maximum it closes at 135 on friday uh, at a minimum they're pretty much looking at 128 uh, that's where i get the kind of uh, ten dollar downside uh, possible but certainly not a lot of upside and that you know even them just being uh, not uh, outperforming yet again uh, may be enough 
I mean, even if their earnings are fine, they may not be the BAFO blowout that this stock has had on the way back up. Uh, let's actually bring that up. Uh, MSFT. Hey, what is it? Uh, da, da, da. So you got a little bit of that pullback already today. You got that gap at 135. Uh, I mean, if they were just kind of average earnings, I could see us just sitting at 135. But I have a feeling that the market's priced in for yet another 10 to 15 dollar higher in Microsoft that they may not show up with. Um, certainly see it in the options. And again, uh, it's one of the options are one of the few places where you can see the way everybody bets. You know the way that they're betting and you know what they paid pretty much uh, every day. Uh, not a lot can be hidden in the option market. There's a few things. You can do synthetic moves, which is be in the futures and also be in the options at the same time to kind of cover up some of the stuff that you're doing. Uh, but it is interesting. Uh, CCJ yesterday had a, or day before, yeah, yesterday had a huge move down back to the $9.91 low. Uh, I think we were talking about that a couple of days ago, if not yesterday. Uh, anyway, you got through it with uh, almost 11 million shares to a 3 million share previous low, kind of bouncing around out here. But uh, pretty interesting to see that you can't, sh with all the new uh, uranium um, plants going into China, 20 or 30 of them, uh, and the rest of them going in the rest of the world, uh, that this has issues uh, getting going. Uh, Cisco, as we were talking about, a lot of these stocks up at the highs, testing previous volume with very light energy. Uh, yesterday, you had uh, a little less than 9 million shares going into a 57 million share June 21st high and 46 million share May 17th high and 20 million share April 16th high. So again, a lot of these stocks just look rather pressed. And as far as I can tell, uh, uh, like I said, uh, yesterday, uh, we had a just uh, you know, in Western Digital, um, as they pushed it higher, uh, it had only about 12% shorts when it's a lot of times, you know, 20, 30%. Generally, when everybody gives up, uh, shorting is one of the best uh, times to go out and short a stock because uh, you are going to have the kind of big moves, even in a kind of a mild move today. Uh, when they give up is generally when you have the big moves in the market. Generally, that's right after the uh, market makers and their street have pushed all the easy hands out and sold any shares that they have uh, to the shorts who have to cover in an uptrending marketplace. Cisco, uh, as we talked about that one, uh, another one that kind of uh, is, I'm kind of scratching my head about uh, yesterday about seven, or uh, excuse me, Friday about 17% shorts, uh, yesterday only about eight. So, um, as you move a little higher in these, when everybody quits shorting, a pretty good indication uh, that uh, the market's ready to turn. Um, and I, I guess that's just kind of built into the markets or they wouldn't work, right? Everybody has to do the worst thing at the wrong time. And uh, generally doing the opposite side of what everybody does is not a bad strategy uh, to, to, to see what else we have going on here in the markets. Um, got any other questions here? We'll see. Uh, to, to, let's take a quick look at Bank of America, BAC. See what those guys have to say. Uh, this is just going back into this gap up from the 28th. Uh, this was a, a Fed bounce. Uh, so you're coming back into it. Energy was fairly decent. You got 101 million shares. You're down on about 46, eh, 37 million shares today, yesterday, 46 million shares. Uh, but again, I didn't, you know, it wasn't that big of a move. It did have kind of a, at least a move out of the sideways action that it did have for a while. Uh, other stocks that I find kind of interesting that look a little toppy, Expedia, EXPE, going into its February 8th high of 135 and 13 cents. Got to 136.26 today. Uh, with just 1.5 million shares so far. Again, this is another one that uh, tends to have a lot of short positions in it. 
Um, yeah, 18% yesterday. Let's see what these guys say. Yeah, it's actually been dropping overall short uh, interest for about three months. So generally when you go up, everybody quits short, quit sorting, and eventually you hit the high on light volume. You may even exceed it a little bit, and then you roll. Uh, to, to, to questions. Hasbro. Um, I don't see anything in this yet. Uh, you got a doji today, which is the first sign. Uh, we haven't talked about Herbalife in probably six months. Um, of course, they sell chemicals under the name of vitamins. Uh, vitamins are nothing but chemicals. Um, I always like to say that because it irritates the people that are big on vitamins. Um, but it's true. Just a handful of chemicals uh, that are the important chemicals to actually have for human development. Um, this, you know, this was always being pushed around. I just find it kind of interesting uh, that this is a uh, actually had a little bounce out of here after testing a four and a half million share low from June 21st, 2.2 million shares. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Thoughts and work on NBL. Take a look at that. That was an earnings bounce on back. No, was it? Okay. I thought it was since it was the same day as the uh, as the Fed announcement. Probably more to do with that. Uh, do, 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 what is this? NBL. Take a look at that one. Noble. Uh, yeah, Noble Energy. Uh, you're back to this gap up. Not bad. Gapped up on eight and a half million shares or 8.8 .8 million shares on the 20th of uh, June. Back down into it with about 2.8 million shares. Um, all I got to say is that supply continues to outstrip uh, demand for energy around the world. And it, you know, on the short term, could you get a bounce? You certainly could. But the only thing that keeps oil prices high is the Iranians uh, threatening to shoot people and thanks. And, uh, you know, you just wonder when the end of that comes to an end. Um, only time, so many times you can cry wolf, and eventually one day maybe there will be some shooting, but I don't see a lot going on in that now. Do I have, uh, where's my clock? Huh? I hear the music. We'll be back in a minute. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get the competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors.
Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. back uh yeah western digital still taking a beating down almost four bucks now uh why did i take the money like i said this is uh that was the one that i actually had uh friday expiration puts in i don't like to have my back up against a wall on options that's why the rest of the options i have are for august uh, I took that one just because I thought it was going to flip fairly quickly. I can make some quick bucks this week. Um, the whole market, though, kind of just looks like it's ready to roll. Uh, again, we're going to look through a lot more charts here today. Uh, but uh, when you see really weak stocks like Western Digital run back up to previous highs, uh, and you look at the interday uh, action of it, not so much the charts, but if you watch the inside part of it, uh, the inside days and watch it trade, you can start reading the tape and see that they're running a lot of these guys out. And a lot of people, how can I say it, just kind of chasing after it. Uh, but yes, I uh, got a question about uh, whether I think technology takes it in the chin. And I would say a little or a lot. I don't know. It depends on what they say for uh, Microsoft. But uh, we're already starting to see uh, a kind of weakness in Apple. It's down a buck. Um, and for a market that's only moved 10 points down in the S&P cash with 30 points, 34 points in the NASDAQ, I think tells you kind of a lot. And that is that we're very much overbought in this market and also incredibly light volume. If we get into any kind of selling, uh, could be fairly sharp and uh, scary. Uh, to, to, to anything else going on out here that I wanted to look at? Um, we looked at Noble Energy. We looked at HLF. Uh, to, to what else is it out here? Uh, Illumina. I wanted to follow up on this the other day. Uh, it's still holding 300 bucks, uh, but a lot of these stocks are set up exactly this way. And why they won't all fall apart like this, there are a lot that have just been run up excessively. Uh, anything below a nine day moving average that closes. You want to be, uh, you may not want to short it, but I don't think you want to be long it for the next few days. Take a quick look at Micron. It hasn't quite done it, but it is a huge parabolic move off that last earnings of the 26th of June. Um, again, it's, it's held above that. It's down today without much earnings. This one may take a little bit longer. As I said, Western Digital, much weaker stock uh, over time than Micron has been. Um, still no major damage to Micron, unlike Western Digital off its $130 highs. So it, you need to have some context in uh, looking at these stocks. But, um, you know, there's a lot of stocks that have been pushed fairly hard and some shorts. And I'm seeing those being squeezed uh, yesterday and today. And I think that's what kind of sets up a lot of these. Uh, let's take a quick look at Apple. Did I spend a lot of time on that? I don't think I did. Uh, Apple, right back up into its gap. Uh, it's got a gap at 197. It's also got a gap at about 182. Uh, 
I don't know why this thing's been doing so well other than the fact that they're selling a lot of accessories. Uh, but I've been into some of the retail stores, and Apple, at least around here, anecdotally, has been weak, but it may just be because it's been so darn hot down here in Florida. Uh, we talked about Party City, uh, Paylocity, excuse me, uh, over the last couple of days. Again, these things are up, very light volume, they're kind of pulling back, and generally when that last uh, blade of straw gets thrown on the camel's back, uh, they start bounce, or they start breaking, uh, but there's just so many of these out here with fairly light volume at the highs. We looked at C's yesterday, which is uh, Sea World. Uh, this one again, why I'm glad that I'm in a lot more of the August uh, puts. I do think we could probably come back down in a lot of these to the nine days over the next couple of days and start getting. I got a question about Whirlpool. Uh, it's up, but not much juice. Uh, right now, we're up on 700,000 shares compared to the previous 800,000 share high. Uh, let's see. The thing is, though, these are just some gaps, and you're really back to fairly stiff resistance. It goes back to this gap that started on the, what is that, uh, July 23rd of 2018 with 1.3 million shares. That's really where the resistance levels are in as it came off the 165.25 high on May 22nd of 2018. See what else we have. Question about the TLT coming in. Keep those cards and letters coming. Uh, two, 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 two. Um, I mean, you, you again, a lot of these things are probably going to continue to follow uh, the three by three or nine day moving average down. We closed under that on the 9th. You've been underneath it. Doesn't really seem uh, on the move today that you're going to challenge it. Uh, we talked a bit about where I thought that the TLT was coming back to, and that was uh, on the uh, uh, confluence levels. Let's see, I probably was doing this. There we go. Um, that confluence level that looks really good out here is that one yeah one year um really looks good is this one right around 125 uh you do have kind of a little bit of a uh, fatter one out here 128 to 127 but my guess is that when this does find a low it is going to be in that 126 125 range in the tlt on this pullback and this has just been one of the most over uh joined trades of all time. And that also means that you could blow out the 125 just because you got so many people on the wrong side if this thing starts moving lower. So uh, give me a call, 877-927-6648. Uh, CBOE will bounce around here today in these. Uh, again, testing uh, previous one point. 2 million share high on November 5th of last fall at 114.80. Got to 114.73 today. About what, uh, what we got here? About 566,000 so far. But, uh, da, 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 da. Expedia, we did that. HLF did that. Uh, JDS T. Take a quick look at this one. Um, again, we haven't come into a pop in this to get you back on the other side. So there is no signal for uh, selling gold yet, at least in this. We'll look at the dust real quick, too. Uh, I don't see it, although we're getting close. And maybe that's telling us a little bit about the rest of the market. And that is that you got below the 16 million share low on June 25th at $10 and 50 cents. Um, what do you got today? About 7 million shares. There isn't a lot of uh, heavy pressure in the dust, but you don't have it closing above the nine day yet. I do like this pattern and close above it. Probably mean that you've got a good shot at least of getting back into $13 and 50 cents, if not higher. We'll be back in a minute.
I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 six and three months timer digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well the fact is markets can be timed and i'll teach you the exact set of tools that i use that has transformed me into one of the best at what i do sign up for mastering probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where i take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. sign up today David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term Term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. Well, uh, the IYT finally pretty much uh, cleared the gap that goes back to May 7th, that had 600,000 shares. Today, you got about 239. Got to 195.65, uh, and I think that's about all you can look at. Uh, but that's, you got a ton of resistance up to 200 bucks. So the easy money is done, uh, but you want to watch this. It does have three gaps. And those three gaps could get filled. This market decides to turn. Uh, one of the big indicators uh, that I see in the market many times at highs also uh, is when stocks that have been left out for dead uh, finally uh, come back to life and run huge amounts of uh, short sellers broke who are too uh, greedy to actually sell uh, or cover their shorts. Uh, another huge day out here for Blue Apron uh, and... A lot of that is short covering, A P R N, and you got you got here. Um, he had like thirty five percent shorts in this on on uh, Friday, and that you know you just have to look at everybody piling on a stock like that and know that you're going to get gored. Um, I don't know what else to say about it other than that. There is some rumors 
uh, about uh, uh, Beyond Meat, and that is uh, uh, the company said it would start adding Beyond Meat plants uh, products to its issue, and I don't know why that would run everybody other than the fact that every this stock is short out its gills. See if I can find it here. We're going to break. Not that bad. Anyway, a lot of shorting in the last couple of days. We'll be back in a minute and finish up this show.